Hello, how you all doing? Thank you for joining me for another whiskey review with me, the Whiskey Novice. If this is your first time tuning in, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. We were just padding out until you got here. Mm. It's review number 175. We're part five or five parts through a series looking at some 12 year old Scottish single malts, 13 of them to be precise. And uh, it is the turn we head back to Speyside, the turn of one of Diageo's Flora and Fauna series, the Linkwood 12. Linkwood 12. Bottled at 43%, colour added, I would dare say. Chill filtered, yes, it probably is. Uh, around the 50 to 60 pounds mark, which is roughly what they charge for pretty much everything in their, in their Flora and Fauna series. Bottled, um, this was refill ex-bourbon casks. I believe, and this, the only one, the only official bottling from Linkwood that you will find out there. There are indie bottles about, but this is the only official bottling, and technically, once again, it's no slight at the Agio to say, or no slight at Linkwood even to say that this is blend fodder. That's why there's not an awful lot of official bottlings of it about. It's, it's just blend fodder, once again. That might make it sound poor. Let me tell you, it ain't. It ain't. Let's get into this. It's bright, it's fresh, it's clean. And after some initial notes of acetone, just slight initial notes of acetone, you start to get fresh fruit pear. And, and then you get pear, even like a pear cobbler, and hints of bubble gum as well. Pencil shavings and vanilla. Honey and custard powder. And you're gifted also with digestive biscuit and almonds. This, <laughs> this is quite a phenomenon actually. I'm, I was saying a bit about it being blend fodder and it might make it sound bad as it, and as I also added to that it ain't bad at all no muss no fuss crisp clean Speyside refill bourbon goodness in a glass it is fresh it is bright it is lovely on the nose lovely Beautifully clean. Once again, sweet and sour arrival. Light. And although initially it feels a little diluted, it still coats incredibly well. And it comes with all those flavours that were on the nose still intact. And then it continues to deliver with citrus and a lovely thick white chocolate. This is so, there seems to be a, a trend currently. This is early 2023. I don't know whether, you know, if anybody's watching this in five years time, We'll see what people are saying, but there seems to be a trend at the moment where people are going back to that refill bourbon, first fill bourbon, the, the bourbon, the, the bourbon, just for that cleanliness, to feel the spirit, to feel, to get as much out of that spirit as possible. This is 12 years. Yes, chill filtered. Yes, colour added, although not a lot, but it, it's just, this is getting all the benefit of Linkwood spirit and what I like about it being bourbon refill is you're not getting, it's not all vanilla, it's not all caramel. So there's so much of that good Linkwood spirit coming through with just enough of the vanilla, of the caramel, hints of coconut, pencil shavings, as I said, coming through and they all work so well together. And that's, it's still that white chocolate that carries through
into a long finish. A long finish, loaded with a lot of that freshness from earlier on. The biscuit's still there, that, the, the, the almond's still there. It's a good one. It is a good one. Yeah, 50 to 60 pounds for a 12 year old from Diageo. A bottle of 43% gel filtered colour added to it. Is that stretching about 56 pounds? You get it at 50. Probably 50 would be as much as I would want to pay, but it'll always, I can almost guarantee now that it will always creep above that 50. Probably closer to the 55 to 60 pounds mark now. And let's face it, the Agio ain't going backwards regarding their prices. So, uh, yeah, I find that the Flora and Fauna series is all a little high, a little. It's probably, I would dare say each of them is about 10 pounds here in the UK high, higher than it should be. But there's no denying the quality of the whiskey. There really isn't. It doesn't change much with the addition of a drop of water. Uh, perhaps a little sweet or some sweet malt. Neither does the palate evolve terribly. If I said it felt a little diluted before water, obviously it feels a little more now, although the citrus turns up very much so. Lime, slightly, very slightly minty. So, yeah, yeah, mm. There was a nice chilly heat in the, in the finish before I added water which is sort of now flattened out. And so no, no, I wouldn't recommend water with it for me personally. That wasn't very much water I added, but it was enough just to take some of the joy out of it. It did add a little, but it didn't add, it didn't add enough to, uh, to validate adding water, should I say. Oh, I dragged that one out. Uh, but no, look, I love Linkwood. I do love Linkwood. It's just one of those, and I, I haven't had, I've yet to have a bad one. It's just, in my opinion, quality stuff. So then, if I like it that much, and I do, I do, 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 Linkwood, I love you. Um, what would I recommend as an alternative then? Well, I, I did mention earlier on, there are quite a few indie bottlings of this out here. And there are, there's an awful lot of indie bottlings out there. I've had at least two SMWS alone in, independent bottlings of this. Both very, very good. So, you know, there's an example that I've had floating away, around for a while, the Signatory Vintage. Version of it, 46% non shell filtered, no color added to that. So you can see the natural color in that, and that is actually a 12 year old. This is a 12 year old. So there's not been, I mean, to say there's been color added to that, <laughs> very similar. This one just slightly darker from, from um, Diageo. So yes, I could very easily say, go for an indie bottling. And, and I will recommend that, but that's not actually where I'm gonna go with this one. What I'm actually gonna suggest is Linkwood at work. Now, I don't mean take, I'm not suggesting for one second that you said, Jim the Whiskey Novice said it was all right to take whiskey into work because that's what he said. No, I'm suggesting this Linkwood at work. This was what turned me on to Linkwood, the uh, Johnny Walker Green label. There was, there was a very definite, something in this which had just piqued my interest straight away and it was after i started having linkwood for a while and which would make me suggest that linkwood's actually quite a big component of johnny walker green yes there's other things going on there's kalila in here there's uh talisker in here i believe crag and more so you know there's there's smoke ear notes there's other notes there's other things going on but it was, there was something in this, and it was whenever I had Linkwood for the first time. 
I thought that's what it was that was piquing my interest in the Johnny Walker Green. There's that, it's just such a fresh, clean thing that stood out to me. So if you've had Linkwood and maybe maybe you're starting your journey, maybe you've had samples or something of Linkwood and you want a suggestion as to where to go somewhere a bit different and it would steer you somewhere different, I'm going to suggest Johnny Walker Green Label. Still, to me, the best in the Johnny Walker series and still a good blend, just in, in my opinion. Yeah, can't set it off. Love Linkwood. Love it. Fine, easy going yet complex uh, whiskey. That's basically the best way to put it. That is the best way to put it. That's it. I'll just leave it at that and say thank you very much for joining me. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much to my patrons, should you wish to join that group. The details are down below. Also, I shall throw in a little uh, link to a video up here, which will tell you more about my patrons. Till the next time, my friends. Look after yourselves. Here's your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.